RCA Victor and its dealers present Bert Hillstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. With Kuk, I don't really know. All you have to do is just answer the questions simply, straightforwardly, and tell the truth. I know, Kuk, but suppose they ask me something I don't know. Well, just tell them that you don't know. Yeah, but it's the United States, the state's government that's asking, and I might, I'd like to, I mean, if, if I don't know, maybe they'd, well, they might, they might be upset or hurt or something. They, don't you worry about it. If you don't know the answer to a question, just say, I don't know. Shouldn't I make something up? No. Just answer the questions straightforwardly, honestly, directly, to the best of your ability. Do I have to sit in a witness, uh, witness chair or anything like that? No. You sure? Do I have to be sworn in? I don't think so. It worries me. It worries me a lot. What part, particularly? When they ask me my age, I don't know what to tell them. Well, tell them the truth. Kukla, <laughs> really? We're show folk, you know. I know, but this is all confidential reports. Then you never can tell. I'm pretty well known, you know, and some very maybe some young girl will come along. Maybe she'll be a census taker, and she'll be a young girl. Maybe she's got a great crush on me. Well, those things do happen. So she might uh, she might uh, say, oh, uh, here's my chance to ask me questions, and she might ask my age, and I tell her, and she might tell the entire world. No, no, they wouldn't do that. I go to school, census takers do, and they, they take a very special pains to to be very very confidential with all. The things they find out. Well, I hope so. It'd certainly be embarrassing for them to find out the truth about me. What do you mean? Well, there are lots of things in my past that I just as soon forget. Oh? You bet. Well, what about Fran? I wonder if, uh, I wonder if maybe, uh, I wonder if she knows anything about the census. I don't know. Let's ask her. Maybe she'd give us a few pointers, you know, just a little bit to sort of strengthen our, uh, our point of view, kind of. Well, okay. Fran? Yeah. We have some questions to ask you. Well, good. How are you? Fine. Oh, you got your beautiful suit. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> hey, you just had your hair done, too. Looks lovely. Oh, I got a short, short cut like that. Do you? Oh, I'm awfully nice. glad, because I couldn't do much about it if oh. you didn't. <laughs> it's real sharp. You could always wear that wig, you know. The long oh. one that goes way down your back like that. No, but it would be such an abrupt change. Yes, yeah, certainly would. Oh, well, the reason we asked you in was... I'm going on a trip. Going on a trip? Where? I'm going to uh, Cedar Rapids. When? Tonight. Cedar Rapids, Iowa? When will you be back? Sunday. Oh, well, that's all right, then. <laughs> I was kind of worried. <laughs> Me too. Well, I'll give our best to all the kids out in Iowa. I will. <laughs> A lot of girls. Well, hmm? What? A lot of girls. Oh, well, what time are you leaving? Well, you won't see them. Oh, won't I? Well, I just might catch that train, too. <laughs> Won't you go? I just might. Would you? <laughs> well, if I were asked, I might. Well, I never dreamed you'd go. I'd love to have you go. Well, let's try. Maybe we oh, can do it. Fun. That'd be fun. But let's get to the point. Yes, oh, you were. Well, well, Fran, Ollie's been a little upset. He's, he's expecting the census taker any day, and he, he was, wasn't in the last census, so he said. It's well, true. You? My mother answered all the questions oh. for me. I was too young. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, he's kind of afraid, Fran. Uh, you know, uh, maybe he wouldn't know how to answer all the questions I told him to be. Oh, I think it's a very simple thing. Just ask someone ask you a question and you just tell them. I'm kind of worried answer. myself. Well, You're worried okay. too? Mm -hmm. Well, there's not a thing to it. Yeah. I don't really, uh, I don't think I was at home the last time either. You weren't? No, but I, if I had been, I would have just answered what they asked. Must be kind of a hard job being a census taker. Imagine it is. I guess there's yeah. quite a bit. I saw one of the forms. You did? Mm hmm One of them. They're about... 500, I guess. You'd make a lovely census taker. Oh, do you think Oh, so? nobody could resist you when you knock on the door and come in. They just answer all the questions and everything. Do you really think they would? Yeah, indeed they would. It'd be very interesting. I guess you'd probably find out a lot. Meet lots of interesting people, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, I'm sure you would. I wish you were our census taker. That'd mm -hmm. be fun. Mm -hmm. well, well, right. Maybe I could find those forms and we could play census. We could practice. Yeah, that'd be good. Practice? Then I could get into practice. And you'll know all the answers. Hmm? All right. That'd be real Where great. Where did I put those? I have... Let me go and see if I can find them. Okay. Oh, that'll be great, Kukla. Well, I'll go and be ready when she comes and calls on us. Okay. Oh, Fran! Yeah? Here, this'll be the door. 
All right, See? fine. And, uh, here, I'll put it here. Now, um, this is the... That's the front door. All right. You can't get in there, then. That's the back door. Oh, fine. You got it? Yeah. All set? Well, here we go. All ready. Yes? <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? I've uh, come to take the census. Oh, is that yes. so? Well, that's uh, very nice. I've been expecting you. I didn't know just when you would come. Do you, uh, do you live here? Hmm? I say, do you live here? When? Well, at the present uh, moment. Oh, yes, well, yes, uh, I'm first, living... Uh, first of all, uh, what is your name? That's the first uh, question. Fletcher Rabbit. That's spelled with two B's, R-A-B-B-I-T. R-A-B-B-I-T. Yes, some of our family, uh, when, uh, when, uh... Well, when I'll get to the rest oh. of your family now in just uh, one second. Well, I was just going to say something spelled now, with says, two T's. Where so. do you usually live? Hmm? Where do you usually live? Well, I spend most of my time in the mail room. In the mail? Yes. In the mail room? Mm hmm uh, Could you give me the address of that place? Of what? The mail room. Oh, the mail room. That's a Cookapolitan, uh... Uh, box 3446, uh, Chicago, uh, 54, Illinois. All right. Now, have you always lived in the mail room? Hmm? No, sir. No. No, ma'am, I mean. I don't always live in the mail room now. I have my own little place that I live in. It has a little bed, the cutest little bed, you know? It's a little studio couch by day. Uh, it has the cutest little uh, cover on it. At night, I take the little cover off and open it up. I, and I don't bed. find any listing uh, for that information. Mm -hmm. uh, I would be interested to know uh, where were your parents born? In Washington, D.C., <coughs> my father. Washington, D.C. My mother was born in Baltimore. In Baltimore. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. My father lives in Washington, D.C. now. Well, He's somebody will get to your father, I'm sure. Well, now, uh, my um, father uh, has guppies. He, uh, he's quite a collector of guppies. Uh, you perhaps will have heard of him. We have a large staff, but I don't believe we'd be able to count your father's guppies. I'm sorry. Now, the information at hand that we want is what is the... Um, have you, uh, do you have a garden, a little window box garden? They're quite simple to plant. Yes, I guess they are. Mm -hmm. Well, no, all you have to I do is to get any... a little flower pot just this size. I see. And uh, then get some earth, and then you plant the seed in there and uh, water it and so forth. I could tell you quite a bit about it if you'd like. Well, yeah, I, I would love to know it, but I think uh, I had better uh, continue with this. Now, the following questions are for persons 14 years old and over. Well, sir, oh, ma'am, I, um, uh, I'm over 14, I believe, although oh. I don't really know. I see. Well, we should either have a yes or no here. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, I know some of the ages of the other members uh, that live in this particular unit. Uh, now, there's Madame Ophelia Ogilfus. She happens to be... <laughs> Something wrong? No, I don't believe so. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, you were saying <laughs> Madame Ogopus is... Uh, Madame Ogopus is uh, how old? Well, I didn't say. She's, uh, as a matter of fact, she just lives here. Well, uh, well I... Well, I mean, she did live here. I'm not, I don't even know her. I never, never <laughs> saw her before in my life. Oh? Well, are you sure this information is correct? Which information? That you just gave me. Oh, yes, but I'd like to tell you about my father. Well, my father is not... Well, going to get to your father. Uh, now, if you worked last week, how many hours did you work? Oh, dear. Now, let me see. Now, there was Monday. Now, Monday, Monday morning, I was down... Yes, Monday morning, I was down at the pet shop because I found a new species of guppy, and I wanted to send them to my father. Now, that was between 11 and 11.30. Now, between 11.30 and quarter of 12, I went to the post office department uh, to collect some very rare stamps. You see, my father is a stamp collector also. Between 11.45 and 12, then I had my lunch, which consisted of, uh, let me see, a glass of milk, uh, three uh, carrots, uh, a bunch of uh, celery, and... Unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we'll <clears throat> go to the next item of... Would you care to know how to plant a little flower garden? Uh, well, not at the present moment. Are you now a member of the Armed Forces of the United States on active duty? I don't believe so. You, uh, you would say no, then? No, I wouldn't say no. I would say I don't believe I am. But you, I, I, have no, uh, I have no space for such an answer. It must be either yes or no. Well, I'm afraid I can't answer that, ma'am. 
Well, I think you have to answer all these questions. Well, I'm afraid I just can't answer that at all. I don't believe I am. Our instructions were to get well, a yes or no. Well, I tell you what, no I'll be glad to. I'll be glad to call my father if you'll just wait for, oh, we'll say just a few minutes. I'll be glad to call my father and I'll come back and tell you because he has all those things on record. Well, I, I can wait for yes. a few minutes. I think. Hmm? Very strange individual. My father wasn't there. Your father was not. Could there. you come back another day? Well, we're not. Well, yes, I guess I could. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you'd like to, when you come back, why don't you bring uh, your own little flower pot, and I'll be glad to teach you how to... Well, she's gone. She was kind of in a hurry. Well, sir, I'd better get back to my mail room. Ha-ha, <laughs> hi-ho, like a day, like a day. Well, I hope I have better luck at this next house. <laughs> Who's there? <coughs> Census taker. Would you mind coming around to the back door, please? I don't. I couldn't hear you. Not at all. <coughs> yes. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Uh, I. I'd like to have a few minutes of your time. Well, indeed. Taking a census. Are you selling something? No, I'm... The I'm... little lady is not at home. In fact, there is no little lady. Well, then I may put down that you are the head of the house. Yes, indeed, right? I am. All right. Ah, yes, oh, there is no little lady, but I'm looking forward to a little lady because uh, if I have a little lady, I wouldn't be having to uh, dress like this and do the kind of work I'm doing. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, uh, what was it? What did you say you were doing? You're selling insurance. I'm taking census. You're taking the what? Census. Census. Well, census. that's very nice. Census. Oh, well, my dear little lady, a little lady like you going out and trapping the streets, taking the census. Why, you're the most well, lovely little fragile magnolia blossom oh, I ever saw in my thank life. Thank you very much. Can you cook? Yes. Well, my dear, I got a job for you. I have a job, sir. Now, if you'll just go along with me on this, uh, I would like to ask you first of all your name. Oh, Colonel R. H. Crackett, retired. No, R. H. Crappy, retired. Uh, is that, would that be the, no, it couldn't be. Civil War? <clears throat> My dear girl, uh, there are two things that you have made a mistake on. Number one, least important, is that you might connect me uh, with that particular event. I am not quite of that uh, vintage. However, the worst mistake uh, you made, my dear, and if you are going down uh, in Southland, which is my home, uh, to make uh, inquiries about the uh, different people down there, I suggest that instead of saying the words which you said, I would suggest that you say, would that possibly be the war between the states? Oh, well, I am so... No answer. Well, there you succeeded again. <laughs> I have this listed as a private residence. <laughs> Just a minute, please. What? Uh, I'm uh, taking... Are you selling something? I'm taking the census. You're giving your, giving your free sample. No. You're give, hey, give brother, brother, this lady's giving you a free sample. Good. Where is she? I'll shoot her down. I'm a hop along Cassidy. I am. Uh, you came at the wrong time, lady. We're watching our television show. Just, just a minute, please. Hmm? Just a minute. Who is she? I'd like to ask Who is she, questions. little brother? I don't know. She's giving away free samples. What? Oh, boy. Bang, bang. I I would like to ask. Kim, Kim, Kim. I'm a desperate criminal. Where are your parents? Hmm. Where are your parents? My parents? Where are our parents? My mother's in the circus. In the circus? Yes, our mother's in the circus. She is a trapeze performer. She hangs by her teeth. <laughs> Hangs by teeth. <laughs> and uh, may I ask the type of living quarters? We live in a poor little wretched hut. She 
You don't you live there. here? Oh, what do you mean, type of... Living I mean, uh, house, apartment, flat, trailer, tent, boat, railroad car. Railroad car. <clears throat> you live in a railroad car? Yes, we do! Some of the time! And the rest of the time, we live in a canoe! Yes, it's turned over. <laughs> All right. Now, I would like to ask, when was this structure built? Hmm? When was this structure built? What structure? Where you live. I don't believe I know. What structure do you mean? Don't know. All right. Now, Do you like to know how old my mommy is? How old is your mother? 143. She's not. She's only 142. <laughs> mother, 142. Are you married? Because if you're not married, I hope that when I grow up, I can marry somebody like you. Well, thank you very much. You oh, stop the blarney. Now, I would like to ask uh, some of the things to be found in this house. Uh, have you uh, a radio? Lucky you asked that question long about now. Well, I we think... We might not be on the air next week. thought this was as good a time as any. I don't yes, we do, as a matter of fact, don't life. we, little brother? Yes, we have a lovely radio. Would you like to see it? Yes, I would be very interested Mommy in Mommy just got it. All right. She, she got it last week. Mommy brought it home for Daddy. But Daddy wasn't home. I see. But when he comes home, we're going to play it for him. My uncle's here, though. Maybe he'll bring it in. Uncle, would you bring in our radio? Wonderful. Yes, I can see. Oh, I think your father will be very pleased. Uncle likes it, too. It's That's usually in his room. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Yes, it is. It's a little indeed. RCA Victor radio, you know. Mm -hmm. little RCA Victor table model radio. Is that the one that has that uh, eight-inch speaker? You bet that's the one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With a console tone quality. You know, Mother was going to buy a console, and then she saw this wonderful little table model, and she thought, well, my goodness, that saves space, and it has just as lovely a tone, so mm -hmm. she got it. Well, fine. Yes, and it has a golden throat. And, and she got this mahogany on maroon plastic because it's a, it blends with all the rest of our furniture. I see. Mm -hmm. Isn't it pretty? Yes, it certainly is. It has a golden throat and, and it has a standard broadcast band and has has tone control on the side, three little places for tone control. Mm -hmm. And something else it has, too. Oh. Does it, little brother? Yes, it does. What? Oh, oh yes. This is something separate. This is our very own. I see. Mother brought this for us. It's a little RCA Victor 45 oh, record player. yes, I've heard so much about it. And you can hook it right in the back. Oh? Yeah, see, little, see that little place? It hooks right in the back of the radio because it's got a little, a little phono jack in there. See there? Oh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. well, don't pull it down. Here it is, right own. here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she did it, didn't she, little brother? Big brother. Oh, big brother. Yeah, you see, and so we can play our records right here on little RCA Victor 45 record play. You can play ten records, and it's one of the world's fastest changers. See? Ten records. Ten records, and then and you can play it right through your lovely radio. Oh, and it uses this speaker. Yeah. That one. Isn't that lovely? Yes, I should. I think say. it's real pretty too. Well, would you like to hook it, please? I want to take it back to my room. There you are. It's mine. It's my little record play. It's mine. It's mine. It goes in my. It goes in my room. Uncle, you can have your radio back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, to proceed, I have another form here that I would like to... Would you like to, to ask me how old I am? Yes, I would. My occupation? Well, yes, I'd like, first of all, your age. I'm only ten years old. Only ten years old? Yes. Well, then, I don't suppose you have any real occupation. Yes, I do. Do you? Yes, I do. Would you like to hear about it? Yes, I would. Would you mind if I sat on the front porch while I'm hearing? It might be better. Sometimes I shall. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm a little cowboy. I'm only ten years old. But I can ride a horse as well as any man I'm told. 
early in the morning before the dawn of day. I put my furs and jackets on and gently steal away. For I work in the meadow and the other things to do. I can't lie in bed and sleep like other boys like you. My pony, he's brown and white all over, and drive a little cop I own across the field to Clover. While he is having breakfast, I gallop all around. I wouldn't want a white horse, I like one white and brown. When over in the east sky, sunshine is coming yellow, I drive my cap back home again, for I'm a hungry fellow. Smells come from the kitchen, a rising on the air, a smell of bacon on the stove, Shh, smell it everywhere. Smell of toast and honey too, smell the fresh cornbread. Who would want to smell it first? Sleeping in a bed. Thanks, pal. Oh. I'm a little cowboy. I'm only ten years old. But I can ride a horse as well <laughs> as any man I'm a toad. Mm. 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 Something's the matter with your brother? Oh. <laughs> well. You're quite a deceiving personality. Yes, we are, aren't we? I, I just, just have a few more questions I'd like to ask. I want to know if I could possibly have missed anyone here, uh, anyone away traveling. Well, of course, your mother in the circus. Yes. And uh, my daddy too. Your father? Mm-hmm. Where did we say he was? He was going away from Mama. I see. And then, uh, any babies? Me. Just you. Yeah. All right. I'm just a little bit of Any, any lodgers? Hmm? Any lodgers? Lodgers? Yes. Yes, we do have a lodger. She lives here. Oh. Mm -hmm. She's the lady that lives here. I Hello, kid. Oh. <laughs> How do you do? How are you? I'm uh, fine. Hello, oh. dear. How are you? That's fine. Okay. Still the little cowboy, huh? No, no, that's my brother. Oh, fine, nice. How are you? Well, we're taking the census. Nice you to know. see you. Well, I'm going skating. It's all of these work. Census are skating. <laughs> going well, skating? Love, you like sports too, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I. That's good. I mm -hmm. like them. Pretty well, good. I'm off and going skating. Mm -hmm. well. Where are you going to skate? I don't know. Just anywhere. Just anywhere. Just might. Well, sir, thirty nice seeing you. Grand seeing you, sir. Hmm? Oh, ma'am, nice seeing you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Well. Goodbye, dear. Give my best to your uncle. Yes. So long, kids. Goodbye. Uh, she rings the doorbell and then goes out. <laughs> I don't know about that skating, but believe me, you're on thin ice having her around. Uh, Fred, well, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, you know, I think this is kind of a job for you. I don't believe I'd be very happy doing it. Well, I think it's, you know, you really got to learn a lot more about it, I think. I think people resent being asked too many questions. I think that... Census takers maybe have a pretty hard. I think they job. must have a very definite way uh, of approaching the people they meet. You see, they don't just go and ask questions willy nilly. They explain things. I know. And then people are happy and glad to answer. I don't imagine they have as many funny characters to. Come no, to the door, I, uh, I don't imagine they do either. I got an idea. Right. Why don't we play census taker for a little while, and you you be the lady. Uh, 
who lives in the house, and we'll come and ask uh, questions of, about you. All right. Well, then let's move the doorbell so it'll be a new house. Mm -hmm. Here we are. <coughs> Kuka, I can't get your bonnet off. Well, I have to take my bonnet off first. I can't get it. It slips. My prehensile tooth is not prehensile today. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm at home and you're gone. Isn't that right? Uh, How can that be? Oh, you're on the outside. Yeah. No. We're on the outside. We're ringing the bell. Okay, well, then I'll come in. I'll answer the bell. Just a minute. How do you do? How do you do? We're the census takers. Well, We're working, working as a team. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, we'd like to ask you some questions. All right. Yes, we'd like to ask you some questions. What is your name, please? Fran. Fran Allison. Fran Allison. Isn't that a lovely name? <laughs> oh, Miss Allison, how old are you? You shouldn't ask her questions like that. You know very well that she's... She's only 16. That's what I like about you. You make me feel so young. You make me feel that spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The moment that you speak I want to run, play, hide and seek I want to run and bounce the moon Just like a toy balloon You and I are just a couple of tots running across the meadows, picking up lots of forget me now. You make me feel so young. You make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a great big fling to be flung. I'm gonna feel the way I do today Cause you make me feel so young <laughs> That's You're a very good uh, answer, miss And I think I'll just put that right down in uh, my uh, census report You think you will? As a matter of fact, I think that's just about the smartest uh, answer I've ever heard in my life You're good What do you think? Me? <laughs> I think so, too. I think we better stop playing census now. I'm kind of tired. I want to be nice and fresh when, when the census taker really does come around. Say, I, too. Hmm. You suppose we could go to that? I wish you could. If we couldn't go with you, maybe we could... Because we have to pack some things and everything. We could get Beulah Witch to bring us out. Wouldn't that be wonderful? If we could, Maybe we could really keep her on the course this oh, time. Oh, the Alpha Gams would love it. If She's got a new broomstick. A new broomstick? Yeah. When? Well, just the other day, why don't we, why don't we do that? That'd be great, wouldn't it? Oh, fine. We'll have the landing lights all ready for And when we get out in, in, uh, in Iowa, the first thing I'm going to say is, um, remember in television... It's RCA... Victor. <laughs> Tilstrom speaking. To quote uh, Miss Beulah Witch, I might say, uh, Hello, kids. It's been great, great, great being with you. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television.